Hi, I'm just going to do a quick video on our new VTalk system. So I thought it would be handy to have a, um, a little tutorial um, to show you how we set up our VTalk from start to finish. Connected in the um, network cable and plug in the power um, cable as well from the back and now you can see that uh, the other end goes into our Draytech uh, modem slash router. Okay, here's our Draytech and you can see from this point here the yellow cable has been plugged in into one of the spare ports uh, in our system. Well, once that's done, that cable as you can see drags down and sticks right into the back of our VTOL. Okay, now that we're on the uh, browser settings, um, on the desktop we just open up a web browser and uh, what we can do is um, find the VTOL by typing in the following on the address bar locate um, dot vtalk.com What that will do is find um, your actual VTOL itself and uh, you can see success and it's given an IP address of 10.1.1.43 which is specific to our network so we simply click on that, uh, which will take us into the uh, management console of the VTalk itself. First, you're greeted with a set of uh, menus there. The first thing that uh, we're going to go into is set up our pro uh, providers. Assuming that you have signed up with a VoIP service provider, um, in which case um, you'll just add the new provider there. And there's a list of all the major VoIP providers out uh, in the marketplace. Uh, we have selected um, IINet uh, because our network is with them as well and they offer um, VoIP services as well. So we simply connect to IINet. Now you can see um, the phone numbers uh, is obviously the one allocated to us um, or to you. So you just enter in that uh, specific phone number there. Um, authentication. Uh, use the settings that they, the VoIP service ISP uh, provided to you. Um, now just to give you a quick example, here's one that we've done previously. If we go to edit, you can see um, these are the settings that our username is our phone number and the password has been allocated to us and uh, there's no call restriction as so much and if you can do everything right, you'll see that the status will come out as registered um, which means that everything has been done accordingly. Now we'll move on to opening up the, the box uh, of the phone itself and to get that uh, organized. So uh, let's move on to that. And here we have our new phone system and uh, it's brand new on the box and you can see we're just gonna go and uh, take it out and assemble the phones and the first cable that uh, we have to put in is the phone, phone jack um, so make sure you have the long end of the cable plugged into here and the reason is because we need to channel all this into here as well now the other end is a little bit shorter and that goes into the phone uh, handset itself okay, now we're at the desk uh, ready to plug in the phone We've got the power cable to attach the handset uh, cable. Now that is the network cable that goes right into the network port on our network. And here is the cable from the PC itself. And we're just plugging it straight into it. So you have the three cables all connected into the back of the headset. So. Okay, here we go. It's got uh, information we need. Okay, the setup button. Yeah, the menu system that goes down. And now all we need to do is go down and select uh, until we go to network. We select the button, and you can see that it's given it's um, an IP address of 10.1.1.15. Now it is with that information we can go to our browser and uh, basically connect it up and reset the phone. Okay, so you can see that uh, we're in the 
uh, settings now on the Utop we're creating a new extension and what we do is just click on new extension to, and what we do is we give it a number and our logical number is 103 and next on the series we give it a name uh, we'll call it designer 3 and so uh, we follow by an email address where the voicemail will be sent to so for our it says a generic creative at blessedscience.com.au the user will then get an email indicating that uh, he's got a voicemail sent with the wave file. Phone ID and phone number and outbound caller leave it blank and uh, the device settings will come to shortly later and what we'll do is we'll disable enable the voicemail and there's no call restriction. Now what we do here, if we go back again, you can see it's offline because it hasn't been completely set up on the phone yet. So what we do is we can set on the uh, edit settings and what is important in this category when we click on that is we have to watch out to get the password that is uh, allocated to that device of which we have to input into the uh, control panels of the actual fold itself so we just kind of paste and copy that um, and what we do now is we go into the control panel um, which is by typing in the address of 10.1.15 which was the IP address that the DHCP server gave to the fold and you can see in here we uh, let's just reduce the screen size a little bit so that you can see under the advanced or uh, the admin login if you click on that um, you will actually get into a new uh, number of buttons you can see extension 1, 2 and 3 we will deal with extension 1 whereby we put in the proxy um, dot, uh, of the VTOL which is 10.1.43 and select like, yes and uh, to register leave everything as per default display name is the designer 3 which is the name that we gave um, the extension and the password which is the one that we copied across and uh, now what I'm going to do is give you a link to the specific instruction onto it as well the author's ID I can see there is the extension number which is 103 now this, this link that I'm going to put up now, it basically helps you, uh, it's a link for VTOL that helps you set up on the Cisco system. <coughs> and use all the uh, ID, yes, and once you submit all changes, it will uh, reset the order. Now the uh, fault has been reset and uh, it's initializing. Okay, now you can see extension has been created on the phone and you've got the dial tone, so just press 1. And you can see that everything is working. You got the dial tones on line one, two, and three, so it's all activated. To complete the process, uh, you can just uh, confirm that extension three one two three is confirmed by clicking the save changes, and you can see now everything set up. And you can see one two three, it's online and it's all active. It's got the full identified as well. So it's all good there. Now we just thought I'd like to show you some quick um, features that the reception you can actually have an automated answering um, that they can reach individuals on the extension by pressing the extension numbers or it will just ring those three people call when, um, when if no one selects an extension. You can actually create uh, groups as well. Uh, whereby you can actually give the call an option of going press 1 for design, press 2 for signage, and uh, press 3 for digital. Good for departments. The voicemail um, is stored on uh, an email and it will send it to the messenger. And the great thing is you can also upload sounds as well uh, for music on hold as well as greetings to so customize your own greetings. So it's uh, all in all, it's a pretty neat unit and it's all complimentary of VTOL, highly recommended for small businesses like ours and I'm sure it's yours as well. Cheers!